I'm Judy, Williamson County Master Gardener, and I'm here today at the Demonstration Gardens, and it's time to plant a black cherry tomato. If we look at our chart for planting times, we can see that at the end of July is when we're supposed to be planting those, and we're just getting this one in in the nick of time. The first thing that I want to do, whether I'm planting in the ground or in a pot, is make sure that I wet the soil underneath and dig a hole. Um, I am going to use a pot that's a little larger than is necessary. A 10 gallon pot is all that you have to have, but this will do. So after you make this uh, a rich organic soil, then it's time to plant our plant. So I'm going to dig a hole it's kind of deep and wide because we're going to make as many roots as possible. I'm going to start by pinching off the bottom branches of my tomato. And we're going to do this because each one of these nodes will grow additional roots and give us a much healthier, hardier plant. So I'll tap this get it out of the container and then I'm going to lay it down horizontally to cover those nodes and then pack the dirt around it. So it's actually bending a bit, quite a bit, in the pot but this will eventually straighten out over time. I have such a long plant it won't even fit in the middle of the pot. <laughs> So now that I've planted it, I'm going to water it again. And I see that this branch is too close to the soil, so I'm going to pinch it off too. And I think that'll be better. Um, we will definitely have to have a support. And what I have here is a typical tomato support that the home gardener would have. Kind of hard to see under here. <laughs> but we will be putting this over top and using shade cloth because the Texas sun will just try this until it gets to be about a week or two in the soil and establishes itself. So I wish you lots of luck in growing your own tomato.